my brother sent me an interesting package. He was wondering if I could take a look at it and see if I could fix it. Ha <laughs> ha, foolish boy. Let's open it up and take a look. This is a circuit board that came out of a older sauna. The symptoms of it, it works for a few minutes and then it shuts off or the heater shuts off. Interesting configuration. Heath Healthmate Infrared Sauna PLH Products Incorporated in California On Lamp Off So my thoughts on this are we have a solder joint that when the temperature heats up it fails we have a capacitor that has dried up or possibly a transistor that may be failing during that process so let's pull it apart and see if we see anything right off the bat When you initially examine a board, the thing you're looking for are the obvious standout items. Uh, do we have exploded caps, uh, burned up resistors, uh, burned traces? These are the things that you start looking for on your first inspection. When nothing there becomes real obvious, you start looking closer at possibly solder joints. And looking at this, I'm seeing that there are an awful lot of solder joints here that are real iffy. Let's turn this thing over and see if we can see anything from the underside. Here I'm also seeing a lot of joints here that are are possible problems. The next thing I like doing is I like putting a lamp underneath of the, on one side of the board and looking and seeing if I can see light through any one of the, the component holes. Here you can see there are a couple of components that have light shining through them. Oh, 
like that one there. That's a capacitor leg going to ground. The next thing I would do is I would get out my magnifying glass and then I'd look closely at each one of the solder joints. This is the lead that I saw that had no solder on it at all. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to unsolder the two capacitors. I will check them out on the meter and see what they read. And then we'll go through and we'll resolder every one of these connections and go from there. I did want to show you this lead here as I move this component. You can see that wobbling around in there. Okay, I pulled the first capacitor out. This is a 47 mic at 16 volts. Let's see what it reads. 46 mic and a 0.86 ESR. So this capacitor looks good. Now since this board is in a sauna, I think what I'd like to do is I would like to heat it up with the heat gun. And then check it again. Fifty mic at point four three ESR. So it did raise a little bit, and it is extremely hot. So I think that's okay. Okay, we have a cap here that we just pulled out. It's a one mic at 50 volt. Let's try it. One point zero seven four mic and an ESR of one point six ohms. And this is really warm so we should be okay on that. When I flipped it over this time, I did notice that there are a couple more cold solder joints here. But anything up on this board is strictly related to the display. So it wouldn't be part of the, uh, the problem that was described. Okay, it's time to uh, re-solder all of these connections. Um, most of these look like they need a little bit of touch-up done on them. I've already done this top board, so let's start on this one.
we have uh, re-soldered all of the pins on both boards. Let's turn it over. Take a look on this side. And let's go over some of these pins here and re-solder those. Sometimes a chip like this in a socket will heat up and cool down hundreds of times and what it will do is it'll work its way out of the socket and if you listen real closely we might be able to hear a snap when I push this in. There. Okay, we've re-soldered the top portion of this board and the bottom. To me, it looked like the solder that was on here. I call old solder. Uh, when the board is put through the solder bath, the solder that is in the, the pool has been heated so long that it doesn't really affix to the copper clad and the components. It kind of crystallizes. Because when I was soldering this, I could see that solder pull hard and then melt. I don't know if we've got this fixed or not, but let's reassemble it and get it back out into the mail and see what happens. As a final note, when you're doing a re-solder like this, make certain that you fully go over every one of the solder joints and make certain that you don't have continuity here have from a solder blob from point to point. Clean up what you've done and hope for the best. If you found this video useful or entertaining, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the bell icon to be notified of upcoming videos. Stay safe, stay healthy, and thanks for watching.